Kosovo Serbs are out in the streets again, and the fears of renewed violence loom. Demonstrators blocked the streets in the northern part of the country after a former police officer, an ethnic Serb, was arrested. He was detained following two incidents this week where election officials and centers were attacked and an officer was shot and wounded. Kosovar police say the blockade halted traffic and were forced to close two border crossings with Serbia. The Serbian president announced he will be making an unprecedented request to NATO to deploy Serbian peacekeepers and police in Kosovo. Today we agreed on the text in which we will send a request to the K-4 commander asking him to ensure the deployment of members of the army and police of the Republic of Serbia on the territory of Kosovo and Metohija in accordance with the Security Council resolution. I repeat, we are under no illusion that they will accept it. The latest tensions come as Kosovo's president announced the postponement of local elections in four municipalities with a predominantly Serb population from next week to next year after main Serb political parties said it would boycott the vote. In November, over 600 ethnic Serb representatives, lawmakers, prosecutors and police officers resigned their posts to protest the government's decision to ban Serbia-issued license plates. Both Kosovo and Serbia wish to join the EU, who has warned them to resolve their dispute and normalize relations in order to be eligible for membership in the bloc.